Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, let's look at this geometric problem. This problem is selected from 2021, the AMC 12B test. So this is the original version of this problem. In short, we are given AD is parallel to BC, and AB is parallel to EC. We want to find the length of DE. So you can pause this video and give it a try. When you are ready, keep watching this video to see the solution. From this figure, we can see DE equals to PE minus PD. But we don't know what are PE and PD. But we know the relation between them. As long as we got PE and PD, this problem is solved. First, let's see how to find PE. Because we are given AB is parallel to EC, so the triangle ABP is similar to triangle CEP. So we got PE over BP is equal to CP over AP. Then we plug in numbers. PE over BP is 10 over 5. So we got PE equals to 2 times BP. To calculate PE, we need to find BP first. Next, let's move to PD. Since AD is parallel to BC, so the triangle APD is similar to triangle CPB. So PD over BP is equal to AP over CP, and we are given AP is 5 and CP is 10. So we plug in numbers, we got PD over BP equals to 5 over 10. So PD is equal to 1 half multiplied BP. Now we know the relation between BP and PD. So we found that the key thing to solve this problem is to solve BP. And we summarize the relation here. DE equals to PE minus PD. And PE equals to twice BP. And PD equals to half BP. So we got DE equals to 3 over 2 multiplied BP. As long as we got BP, then we can immediately know DE. Now let's try to find BP. Instead of look at this complicated figure, we focus on this triangle, and we mark the angle PCB as theta. So keep in mind, DE equals to 3 half multiplied BP, and we try to solve BP by using cosine law. So inside the triangle BPC, we apply the cosine law, and then we plug in numbers. So we got this equation. And we can see BP is related to cosine theta. But here we don't know what the cosine theta is. So we still cannot solve what the BP is. But it doesn't matter. Let's look at the triangle ABC. And we apply the cosine law again. For triangle ABC, we know the length for all the sides. AB is 13, BC is 14, and AC is 5 plus 10, which is 15. So we got cosine theta equal to 3 over 5. Next, we plug in this 3 over 5 to the top equation. So we get this equation. Now we are ready to solve BP. And we got BP equals to 8 square root 2. So finally, we got DE equals to 12 square root 2. So now let's look back to this original problem. So the correct answer is to choose D. 12 square root 2, and this problem is solved. So for this problem, it involves two keys. The first one is to use the property of similarity for triangles to set up the relation between PE and BP, and also for the relation between PD and BP. And the second key is to use the cosine law to solve BP. And here, we apply the cosine law twice. Once we found BP, this problem is solved. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like it.